What's up guys, the G-Horn Callus is already available and it's pretty easy and fast to get. All you have to do is go back into the dungeon once you've already done the G-Horn quest and gotten it yourself. Then there's going to be three enemies inside the dungeon that you have to shoot, which will drop a Ingram, which will then give you the buff that allows you to open a chest. There's going to be three of these chests. The first one is going to be right in the beginning of the dungeon after the quote-unquote loot cave area, right when you enter the actual new dungeon area. It's going to be right in this first area. There's going to be this ultra up here on the right, and this is our first time doing it. We didn't really know what was going on, but if you just damage him a little bit, he'll drop one of the engrams that are in the dungeon and give you the debuff. And what you have to do is go open the chest with this before the timer runs out. And the first one is very close. As you see, it's right up here. And you just open the chest. It will just say something about like something cleared. It won't really give you anything in your inventory. But once you open the chest, you're good to go. Then the next one is going to be in this area right here. This big circle room with the four doors. Once you actually complete the encounter and you get the Scorch Cannon. Once you bring down the door and go up the stairs, which has the rolling barrel, which will usually kill, you know, multiple people on your fire team unless they're smart enough to go into the corners. So wait for them to be revived. But then right around this corner with all the enemies is the second ultra that you have to shoot to get the Ingrams to drop. So just damage him a little bit and he'll drop one and you have to obviously get one for each person on your fire team. And once you get yours, this chest is also very close. It's just going to be right up here in this vintage section. So once again, not too hard, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. And the third one is going to be the most complicated. It's going to be in the next encounter of the dungeon, the one with all the main cannons in the super wide open area. And just like the previous one, this one you need to complete the encounter first. So actually, you know, break all the shields, all that good stuff, then go up to the waterfall area and there'll be an ultra somewhere in this area. He runs around quite a lot. And once again, he'll just drop one of the engrams, pick it up. And this one you need to kind of set up and be coordinated because you have to use a main cannon to get to the chest. So this main cannon right behind you, you just need it lined up with the center area and take it. Then as you see, the chest is going to be up here on this little building and it's pretty straightforward. Also, if you want to use like Top Street Dawn Blade or some movement super to help you out get here, that could help also. But as long as you have the main cannon set up, you should be good to go. And that is it. That's all you have to do to get the Callus. Then once you have it, all you have to do is get kills like normal. I believe it's 400, so not that much. I went to Shirochi to get infinite ammo and it took not even, let's say, 10 runs to get the full kills. So if you watched my video earlier, we already know what the Callus does. It increases the mag size to two, as you see. Then final blows with Wolfpack rounds will spawn a faster, more powerful missile at the target's location. So look at how that works. Whenever the Wolfpack rounds, which there should be six of them, get a final blow, it will then spawn in a new one, which will now hit for yellow numbers, so quite a little bit more damage. And it doesn't seem like this is an infinite chain, so the Wolfpack rounds don't make more Wolfpack rounds that then make even more. It's just the initial six Wolfpack rounds will then get six kills and create six of these new, faster ones. So in total, you should be able to get 12 Wolfpack rounds as long as you're getting killed with each of the actual initial Wolfpack rounds. So that is very cool. It makes it even better for Acrear. And look at damage on Carl from my previous video. Once we added up all the numbers, it was roughly 131.5 thousand. Look at a new rate of fire with a two mag. So two shots take like, I think it was 1.2 seconds or something like that. Then the four now takes 4.7. So DPS is now for two, the first magazine, 204 thousand. Then for four, the sustained DPS number is still over 100,000 at 111. So yeah, this scene's burst DPS is, you know, just kind of decent, you could say. It's more or less the highest burst out of anything in the game outside of maybe fourth horseman. So yeah, it's uh, pretty good for single target damage. Makes all of your other teammates' legendary rockets even better and has really good accuracy. This G-Horn in D2 is the real deal. And yeah, that was it, how to get the Callus very quick. And like I mentioned in my previous video, there'll be multiple follow-up videos with more DPS testing with this weapon. Thanks for watching, catch you guys next time.